Eleven firefighters injured, one seriously hurt in an explosion while they were battling a fire at a homeless encampment in the Sepulveda Basin yesterday. This morning, investigators are now back at the scene to try and figure out exactly what happened. KTLA's Carlos Herrera live in Encino with the details for us. Carlos, good morning. Hi, Jessica. Good morning. And this investigation has now resumed now that the sun is up. Captain Eric Scott here with the L.A. Fire Department with an update uh, from officials here on the ground. L.A. PD bomb squad is here. They've located several suspicious devices. You're right, and we're very thankful for that collaboration, the unified command. Uh, we don't want to continue to put firefighters in harm's way if there was explosions taking place in other suspicious devices, and so that's where we come together. And as, as you heard a boom in the recent past, uh, they're rendering those safe as we speak. Um, this all started around 1.30 uh, p.m. yesterday afternoon here at a homeless encampment on Burbank Boulevard near Woodley Avenue in the Sepulveda Basin. Uh, when the firefighters responded, there was one firefighter that was injured due to an explosion at that encampment. He was airlifted to Northridge Hospital. Ten other uh, firefighters who were in the close proximity were also hurt, but they weren't suffering any significant injuries. It's my understanding that all 11 are back home this morning. That you, everything you said was very accurate. And yes, we feel very fortunate that those uh, members were able to be released so quickly from the hospital to go home with family and loved ones. But they have, uh, some of them, a lot of follow-up and uh, the long-tail efforts of the recovery process and uh, surgery to take place. Firefighters are used to fires. They're used to explosions. But this one was pretty unique. Yeah, you know, the dangers of our chosen profession and first responders in general is ever-changing. And we are used to explosions at a house fire, predominantly in a garage or ammunition or gasoline or CNG explosions or vehicles, but not typically while you're doing a brush fire. So these are some of the additional challenges that we're having throughout these areas. We're taking it very serious. And to the extent we enacted uh, what we call a CERT team. So it's a group of professional, uh, qualified members that are going to comb through every detail. It's the same type of team that took place after that Boyd Street explosion or after the uh, CNG truck explosion that injured multiple members in Wilmington. So we're going to come to the uh, determination of what exactly caused this. There are multiple encampments in this area, specifically on Burbank Boulevard. Uh, what strategy are you guys using to kind of go through all this space to make sure that there are no other suspicious devices? Well, you know, obviously the suspicious devices make our operational tactics very challenging. We don't want to continue to put boots on the ground if they could have another explosion. And so that's why we had to back off even doing some fire suppression, uh, start to co-locate with LAPD, bring out their bomb squad, and then to start to make sure any other devices that are suspicious are now inert or have been rendered safe. And so it's, uh, it has to be a methodical and strategic process. Captain Eric Scott here with the uh, LA Fire Department. Thank you for your time. Again, this could take several hours. The occupants of that homeless encampment, Frank and Jessica, are nowhere to be found. We'll send it back to you.